Hi there. This is part one of a series of logic videos through which we will show you how Zoho Flow's logic elements make your workflows more detailed and flexible. Let's begin with a quick overview of each of Flow's logic elements. Under logic, we have three sections, flow control, notifications, and custom functions. Flow control has three elements within itself. Set variable lets us create a variable and assign a value to it. Decision helps us branch workflows based on conditions and delay allows us to set a waiting time between tasks. Under notification, we have a send mail action that lets us send an email from any domain. And finally, custom functions help us build our own functions into a workflow for which we need to code on deluge. In this video, we will be looking at two different flow control elements, decision and delay. Let's begin with discussing the case that we want to solve. Every time a new ticket is created in help desk, we want to fetch the corresponding deal associated with the contact in CRM. If the deal value is high and the ticket is still unattended after two hours, we want to alert the team so they can look into the issue immediately. Now to create this flow, let's click on create flow. Give our flow a suitable name. Give a description. And then hit create. Now, once we are in the builder, the first step is to decide the type of trigger our flow needs. Here, we will go with an app based trigger. You can watch our getting started video to understand more about the types of trigger that a flow can have. Let's click on configure. Next, we need to select the specific app that will trigger our flow. Let's pick Zoho Desk and then click Next. We now see a list of triggers available in this app. Let's select New Ticket and click Next. Click Done. We have now successfully configured the trigger. You can watch our Getting Started video to learn more about connections. Now the first task is to fetch the contact details of the customer who submitted this ticket. So let's go to Zoho CRM and select the Fetch Contact action. Here we can fetch the details using the contact's email, name or even the ticket ID. For this example, we'll pass the email of the customer from Zoho Desk. Let's click on Email field and click on this email and click done. Next, let's fetch the deal associated with this contact. We drag and drop the fetch deal action from Zoho CRM. We choose the connection here. Now we choose to fetch the deal using the account name, which we find under fetch contact action here. And click done. We now need to identify if the deal value is high, for which we will introduce logic. We can find the logic section on the top left side of the builder. So we click on the logic icon on the left sidebar, pick the decision element, drop it in the builder. To configure it, we need to choose the parameter that needs to be checked. So we choose the amount variable from the fetch deal action. Select the appropriate condition, which is greater than, and set the minimum deal value for which we want to check this condition, and click done. We have now configured the decision. Let's quickly name it so that it's easier to refer back. Now we need the flow to perform a set of actions depending on the output of this decision. So if the condition is true, that is if the deal value is higher than the value that we have configured, we need to make sure to respond to the customer promptly. So we insert a delay element that will hold the flow for an appropriate amount of time and then perform the action. Here we set a delay of two hours. So let's drag and drop delay here. Put a delay for two hours. And click done. 
After these two hours, we need Zoho Flow to check if the status of the ticket is still open. So we select Zoho Desk. And drop the fetch ticket by ID action. Here. Choose a connection. Now let's pass the ticket ID variable from the trigger. And click done. Now to check if this ticket's status is still open, we introduce another decision block. So let's go to logic. Drag and drop decision here. And select this ticket status. Equals open and click done. Let's rename it. If this condition is true, then we need our team to act immediately. So we send them a public channel message through Slack. Let's configure the message that we want to send. So type Slack. Let's configure send public channel message. Choose connection. Let's say we want to say a high deal value ticket waiting response. And you could also map the ticket ID here. Choose a channel. Let's go ahead with general channel and click done. Now, if the deal value is lesser than the threshold, that is, the condition is false, you could include a different set of tasks that should follow. And that's it. The workflow is implemented. And all that's left now is for us to save the flow. Let's click on save and then switch it on. Let's click on this switch on button. So from this point on, in the context of this example, our high deal value customers will always get right amount of attention at the right time. We hope this video took you one step further in working with Zoho Flow. If you have any questions, do write to us at support at zohoflow.com. Thank you for watching.